Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Market Review. And in this episode, I'm going to be telling you why I think Bitcoin is going to be going lower. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean it's a guaranteed thing. It doesn't mean it's going to happen. But the chances of it happening has gone up significantly. And I'm going to be showing you why I think so. And if you do not understand anything I'm saying, or if you watch this video and you don't know what I'm talking about, in the description below, I'm going to have a link to a video or a couple of videos where you can watch it and basically get caught up. So by the time you're done with those videos, you will know how to technically trade the markets, buy the dips and all that stuff. So with that being said, let's get into the video. So in last week's market review, I covered Bitcoin of course and Bitcoin had just broken the $52,500 level, it had just broken it to the downside and it stopped around the $42,000 price and then since then it recovered back towards the $49,000 level. But what has been happening since then is that price has steadily just been going lower in price. So on the lower time frame here where I can show you in details why I think this market is going lower is that we've been having price respecting this trend line for a while now so when the market came down towards the 41 42 000 level it recovered back towards the 49 000 thereabout right the market went up towards the 51 000 level came back down to 47 000 came back up to 50 000 came back down to 46 000 came back up to 49 000 and then currently recently came back down towards the 45 600 dollars level now if everything that this market has done previously in the past week is any indication, chances are the market will come back towards the $48,000 level and just after doing that, come back down towards the $45,000 level. Now, if it breaks the $45,000 level after coming back up towards the $48,000 level, the chances of the market going lower is very very high so basically why am i showing you guys this is for you guys to be ready to be able to buy these dips when they occur because if the market was actually recovering right we would be creating higher highs and higher lows by the way if you do not understand what i mean by all this gibberish i'm saying right now like i said i have made a video about this in the description below just go watch the video you would understand what i mean by higher highs, higher lows, support, resistance, all that stuff, right? Basically, what I'm just trying to say is that if we're actually going up in price, the market was starting to show strength, we wouldn't be creating this movement that's going down. We wouldn't be going towards $52,000, coming to $47,000, going lower to $50,000, coming back down, going lower to $49,000. You can see that this market from this price of $51,000, which is, was the highest it went as of last week, it has just been going lower in price. Anytime it tries to come up, it's lower than the previous price. Anytime it tries to come up, even from here, it's lower than this previous price. Okay, so chances are, if it comes up again towards here, it will be lower than this previous price, which means it will keep going lower till it most likely breaks the $45,000 support and then heads towards the $41,000 or $40,000 level. Now, as of last week, I already told you guys to set a buy limit at the $40,000 level. So, if you have done so, all you just have to do is to keep on waiting and then chances are the market would actually get there. But that won't happen until this support is broken. And based on what I've just showed you guys on the lower time frame, it looks like something that is going to be happening. Because the market keeps heading lower and lower in price instead of heading higher and higher in price. So if it breaks $45,000, next support is $41,000. But like I said, all this can just change all of a sudden. There could be something that would happen in the market, a catalyst that would just basically push the price heading higher. But for now, keep it in mind that based on what the market is doing right now, especially on the lower time frames, right, is a market that is heading lower in price. This is also the same thing happening on the Ethereum chart as well. As you can see, Ethereum came down in price towards the 3646 level. 
and then since then it had recovered back towards the $4,100 level but currently sitting at $3,900 level. So if Bitcoin continues to head lower, I already told you guys last week to set a buy limit at the $3,600 level because the market could come back down there due to what Bitcoin does. So if it does, you definitely are good and that price point is still very valid. Now as for Solana, Solana seemed to have broken the support of $175, came down towards the $148, didn't quite touch the $144 support but with what's happening with Bitcoin's price action, I wouldn't be surprised if Solana heads towards the $144 level. So if you would like to buy some even cheaper Solana because Solana has been one of the strong cryptocurrencies for the past few weeks to months. So finding it at these cheaper prices is actually a great deal. So if you would like to take more advantage of it, set a buy limit at the $144 level and then as the overall market kind of weakens a little bit so we will see solana come towards the 144 dollars level remember guys i always say this you do not want to buy a market that's going up you want to buy a market that's going down and the reason why i make these videos is to tell you the optimum places where you should be buying it at now as for cardano nothing much to cover here it's still at around the same price it was last week so which is one dollars 25 cents i already told you guys to set a buy limit at one dollar because that is the optimum place to buy this market but if you still like to buy into the market even right now at the prices of one dollars 25 cents is still a great price same thing for xrp as well xrp still remains at the same spot where it was last week so if you would like to buy xrp at a cheap price 82 cents is the perfect price to buy it at but like i said last week if Bitcoin continues to go lower, if you see Bitcoin heading towards the forty-one to forty thousand dollars level, we most likely will be seeing a fifty-two cent XRP. So, which means it's even going to be a much better deal than what we have today. Now, this is Avalanche, and it's something that I don't think I've covered in a while. The last time I covered it, I remember telling you guys to buy it at the seventy-five dollars level because that was where support was. And as you can see, the market came all the way from one hundred and forty-seven dollars, came towards the seventy-five dollars level, touched it, and since then it has started recovering. But I won't lie to you guys, I missed this dip. I didn't actually remember to check back on this chart to set my buy limit. So, am I going to buy right into it right now? Absolutely not. Or maybe I could just pay a little bit of maybe 5-10% to of the cash reserve I have just to buy it at present prices but really I am not really interested on in buying it at these prices. So what I'm going to do is set a buy limit at the $75 level. So as I set it at $75 level so if Bitcoin drops even lower we will definitely see this turn around and head towards this level and if it touches it. I'll get into the market at a good price other than getting into the market at a price that has already started recovering currently sitting at $115 when I can easily get in at $75. So I'm not going to rush this market, I'm just going to be patient, I'm just going to set a buy limit at $75 and wait for the market to come back down there. But if it doesn't come around, it's not the end of the world, I'm going to wait for it to break $135, right? break it go up towards let's say 150 to 200 dollars then come back to retest support of 135 dollars it's just exactly what happened here when, when i made the video the last time and i told you guys to set a buy limit at 75 dollars the market broke previous resistance of 75 dollars broke it here went to the top came back down to retest it at support and now has started going up so when it goes up again Chances are that's exactly what's gonna do again. So it's gonna break this place, right? Let me put my level here so you understand what I'm saying. So it's gonna break this level, go up, do exactly what it did here right now. It's gonna go up, come back to retest it at support, which is at $130 to $140, right? And then I would already have a buy limit at this level, waiting for it to happen. So once it does, I'll continue with it to the top again. But as for right now, I wouldn't encourage you guys to go all in on Avalanche right now. The best place to set a buy limit would be a $75 
level. Now, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed this video and would like to support this channel, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell right next to it. I release new videos every week and you'll be the first to be notified when that happens. That's it for this video and I'll see you guys soon. Cheers. Thank you.